So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul. Welcome back to another native script video in which we're going to discuss about navigation in our native script applications. And navigation basically just means that you can navigate from one activity to another in your application, which is very fundamental if you think about it. So native script does allow us to implement navigation very effectively, even without using any frameworks like Angular or Vue. So let's just take a look how we can do that. I'm going to get rid of our Flexbox layout at the moment. We're going to extend this functionality later on when we are creating our first, you know, valuable application. But for now, what we can do is just pretty much create a button or rather we could just, you know, pick this button up right here because it has all that event listeners and stuff attached. And we're just going to say navigate to another page and on tap, we want this on tap action to happen. Right here inside our main page.js, which is our controller, we could pretty much get rid of the binding context and all that stuff. We could get rid of unloaded because we don't really want to do a lot of stuff here. So on tap, what we want is we want our page to actually navigate to somewhere, right? So what we want is first of all, we're going to get the reference to our button, right? Which is from our start object. Now remember that on loaded, when we had on loaded event, we got the reference to our page with our start object. But because this on tap is fired on the button, you're going to get the reference to that particular button, right? From this button, you can, however, get the reference to the page this button is on by just saying button.page. And once you have the page, you just have to say page.frame.navigate and then the page module name. Now, hold on here. What the hell is happening? Well, stick with me on this for a minute and I'll just let you know what's going on here. So we're going to navigate to, let's say, um, page two, right? And hit save. All right. So what the hell is this navigation concept anyway? You see that in our app root.xml, we have something called as frame. Now in native script, how navigation is laid out <clears throat> is basically you have this frame container which holds a lot of other pages right these pages are essentially which are displayed to the end user the frame is not really displayed so the thing you're seeing right here is main page.xml not this frame frame pretty much just is a container to hold pages for allowing various things like transition for one from one page to another and you know grouping specific pages you can think of it like a um, not really a stack but maybe more or less like that a container for holding pages right all right with that being done what we want is now to create a page 2 so let's just go ahead and create page 2.xml which is essentially where we would be redirected and i'm just going to create a page real quick right here and i'm just going to say that this has an action bar of you know title page 2 and uh, yeah that should be it Finally, we could also give it a label so that we are sure that we are on page two now, right? That's it. Or actually rather we could just go ahead and create another button, which just navigates us back. And we're going to take a look at that, how to do that. So navigate back, right? All right. So once we have that in place, what we should see is now when we click on our on tap, when we click on this button right here on our main page.xml, we should be redirected to page two. Of course, not because we have some um, spelling error here. Let us fix that real quick. This is args, not AGRS. So once you do that, just reload your application. And now if you click on this link, you see that we get a nice little transition. You could see we have this back as well automatically from our frame, from our page. And we could just click it. And this works flawlessly on iOS. On Android, you would obviously have the hardware back button or you know some way to go back manually. And that would work. All right. So now let's just make sure this navigate back also works. So this should be pretty much similar to what we did here, right? We are first of all going to create its code behind file by saying page2.js, export this on tap. We're going to get the arcs again. And this time I'm just going to say instead of navigating it back, we can just say 
go back right so once we do that what we should see is that now we are not a not only just um, able to navigate to this page we can also click here and go back from where we came right so this is a very simple example of navigation obviously applications could have much more complicated examples like having a tab view or maybe a side drawer which also comes under navigation and we're going to eventually see all that stuff as we create applications which require that so that's all for this one and if you liked it don't forget to subscribe press the bell icon thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next video